For me, building more size and strength in the chest is making sure that you know you're you're not afraid to try new things. So so for me, you know, one one day I'll do you know like let's say incline hammer strength on the incline. The other day I'll do you know dumbbells, and I'm switching back and forth to get different grips and different feel. Um, the muscle doesn't know which, so I have to force it to know. And uh, using different rep ranges, rep ranges. So for me. I'll try to go maybe one week of five to seven and then do that for two, three weeks and then go from eight to 12 and see if I can actually use the weight that I had from the strength period, which would be five to seven, three, four weeks later for eight to 12. And, and then maybe doing some forced repetitions, um, having good spotters always help, you know, to get those, you know, a few forced reps in. And that is getting your body used to actually having a higher amount of poundage. So then when you train on your own, next thing you know, you can just blast through it, you know, with no help at all. I think you need to realize your own anatomy with the chest. Like, you gotta really look at your chest and say, okay, maybe I need more upper chest, maybe I need more thickness on the outside, maybe I need more inner chest, and then divide up your workout that way. Prioritize, you know, your workout to your weaknesses, not just your strengths.